Hello and welcome. Right, so I've got to get this grass up. I don't know what went wrong now. Is there anything else we can be doing that I can be setting a work going with in September? Let's have a check. What? what can we sow? It is, yeah, I was going to say, it's canola and barley and weed. So we could actually, that is a point. Now that is, yeah, now I did check this. I do remember in editing. In fact, there's quite a few things I saw in editing. One, those cow doors, I did shut myself. I, I saw it in editing. I ran up to the corner and I must have clicked the button that shuts it. And it do, I was struggling to open it, I must uh, must admit, but it was definitely me. And obviously the, the tractor, it must be, it's simple if you send a worker over there and you click, you think you've clicked in one place. It's, it is me. It's just, yeah, sometimes, you know drama queen or what absolutely so my apologies it was obviously me. the one thing i am impressed with is the fact we've got crop rotation and we have thrown a spanner in the works because it should be reading that we had cereal crops on this and actually because we've got grass and that it's actually saying that we're all right yeah fallow fallow so with that in mind we can actually plant more stro straw producing in this particular one because we've thrown a spanner in the work of that mod so I quite like that now this field we unfortunately can't because it's reading as cereal so we do need to stick something else now it's a point the one good thing about old seasons was the fact that you had your diary where it showed you what was what now this new mod I can't see anything in the thing I can't even see a key binding for it or anything at all in this to actually show us any kind of help and there's very little on the mod hub about it so I'm really a little bit unsure as to how to crack on now that reminds me let me just check in the productions have I got yeah have I got everything all of the now the other thing is I did say as well and this is true I do think before we do anything we've got to have a bit of a rejig now I've always I've said this is in the way and I had this on another let's play on my Westbridge Hills where that was well too close to that also that has at the minute though got 993 tons we did break a mill that was quite impressive I'm quite impressed with that I think we ought to take the stuff oh, do we leave it in for now and replace it afterwards it's got 500 tons of silage Gordon Bennett right it has it's true that's gonna take a lot of shifting like a chaff that much chaff really is okay so then what do we do now then yes you will have noticed in editing that I did actually upgrade this one because the it, uh, the lorry was struggling it was doing 22 kph dragging the the, the um, I can't think of its name the, the the trailer the one that drops off yeah I just can't for the life of me think what it's called but you know what to mean that one now then, so this means we can set a deal with this tractor, it is amazing. I know I've said that quite a few times, but it is, it is, it does, again, there's always that bit of a learning curve, the first few minutes. Right, we need to cycle through, so we've got, ah, so one of these is still on grass. Because it says not available for grass. But I've cycled through all of those, and they all say wheat so I don't get it how can they all say wheat and that one says variable seed rate not available for grass that makes no sense to me right that's one that says sh definitely says wheat that's two that says wheat and that's three that says wheat so why does it say not available for grass I don't get it I am confused because we've already planted grass. Right, are we full? No, we're not. Okay, let's let's undo these. And no. Right, okay. Yes, this is this is the only bad bit about this. This is the refilling procedure for this. Yeah, we really do need to. I think we need something like a seed tender or something. If we're going to use this, we ought to use it properly. Now, there is a brand new mod that has just come out. That is, that is about perfect. 
we'll just cycle through that again. That's definitely. No, it's definitely reading. All three are, are all on that. So why is the third one on precision farming say not available for grass? I am totally foxed. It doesn't take a lot, as I know you're all fully aware. Right, so then, seed tender. Yeah, I'm not going to set this on with a worker because it went wrong twice. Yesterday we did that, but we'll get back and we'll literally go and do that. So let's go to the store. Let's go and grab that new seed tender. It's cheap as chips. It is quite new. I'm hoping it works because, yeah, otherwise this is going to be a little bit... Yeah, but it is. I like to show new mods. I've always liked to do that. Yeah, the Mac Trucker. Now, I actually on... I've just come away from the old Kiwi farm because, unfortunately, something went wrong. And all of my crops that I planted in the last session haven't actually grown. So I've, it, it was the last year on the old Kiwi farm and I've had to call it, which is a right shame because I was looking forward to doing the last year on the old Kiwi farm. But unfortunately, it's, yeah, the map has beaten me and I don't know, I'm not blaming the map either. Something went wrong and it's, yeah, it's just one of those things it really is, but there's nothing I can do about it. It really isn't right. Shop menu. So then we are looking for... It's in miscellaneous, which is unfortunately, I apologise for my miscellaneous section, because it's got just about the wild and his dog in it. It really has. It's a massive section, although I know everybody's miscellaneous tends to be a little large. Yeah, I've got so many things. I used to love that lizard uh, crop. So here we go, the GTF 26. It is a bit of a monster. It really is, which I actually quite like. Now I was a bit confused, but actually that wheel does those wheels do pop out. So I was thinking, how on earth do I shift that? But yeah, you do need that. And that. Now I'm not sure I've really bought the right tractor for this because I get the feeling that's a bit of a beast. I I would think I am right, actually. That is definitely looking quite beastly to me. Just look a, a tad big. I presume it's that way. It is, and I presume it's the other end. Looks like to me. Or is it that end? No, I would say it is that end actually. I think it does seem some sort of a little tiny hook up thing just in the middle. Ooh, he says as he bashes it one. Somewhere there. We wow, smash it. No, is it, it is. Oh wow. So now I've never used this, so I need to know how do I put the pipes up? Oh, oh, that's tip. And that's tip as well. And unfold. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Oh, I see. Right. Now I do get it. Ah, well, that's different. Okay, right, smash it, simple as that, right, cover on, let's get ready, and let's watch the traffic, let's get this back on, yeah, it only dropped the other day this, and I thought I'd give it a shot, it's nice, it's more as a seed tender though, it's not as, uh, yeah, because we've already got our proper auger, and it's very, very large, so I don't know what the capacity is on this, but it's a bit wobbly, we'll say that. Yes, in editing I thought, I, d I don't know what I did, I went right to the back door and it was open and I was running around like a mudding as I usually am and I obviously clicked the button and the door shut, but it was difficult to open, it was, yeah the trigger was a bit sensitive shall we say. Now does this have two sections or is it just big? Oh, we should put some seeds in, but we don't need to go mad. Yeah, we shall set that work going on the bigger field, and I'm hoping to goodness we should... Yeah, I'm going to watch, because it's still to me with precision farming saying we're putting grass in, even though all three say that we aren't. I am going to trust precision farming, I think. So we should test. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, now... Oh, don't tell me. Go on. Go on. Let's look. Please don't tell me that it's only for grains. Of course, it's not a seed tender. Is it just a traditional auger that only accepts certain crop types? 
all crop types it says on there it does seeds it does does please don't tell me only used for temporary storage of grain it's a bulk carrier then so how come oh like mine so this is 45 meter cubed so how come is does it not read the ah that could be a problem okay that's that's a little bit let's do does it only accept when it's unfolded perhaps may do it's worth a try yeah but anything's worth a shot it could be something like that it is a it's not your run of the mill ah there you go you see sometimes it is just that you've got to go that little bit extra seeds we don't want a lot though no that'll do nicely otherwise I'm gonna be skinned right so now we need to get out the tractor go and get that and run this over yeah top these up this is gonna be quite tricky I should imagine to get this right so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit which I do apologize for we're gonna to have to go is the one in the middle that's worrying me yeah the one on the left and the right I can swing to the left and swing to the right but the one in the middle not so sure how we're going to do that one. I suppose we could eject some seed out of one of these. That would work. Hmm. Right, okay. Now I'm, I'm confused a little. Do we need to do something? Ah! Aha! Hang on a minute. Oh, okay. Right, well we did sort of get get start overloading but this isn't really doing any good but I'll try and find out some way to okay yeah this is I do hate this is there anything about never using it oh, oh. that is over that one Okay, I apologise for the slightly unrealism, but it did actually work, and that was the one I was worried about doing, so... It's not quite... Not quite in the right place, but... Yeah, it's a new mod. It's, yeah, I suppose... It's right, let's, uh, let's fold it back up again to move it. Let's do this properly. Yeah. It's not a mod review per se, as I always say, but let's let's at least do it. It's good, I like it. It's very cheap. Ten grand for a 45 meter cube equivalent to a trailer. What's not to like? Right, let's try and get this roughly right. It's not going to be perfect. I'm going to have to do a bit of dragging around, I do realise, but... Yes, I am quite impressed with it. If you was on a budget, it's a 45 meter uh, trailer, really. Still Aha! Yeah, smashing! And there we go, you see that was not too painful. Let's fold that away again. Let's see, fertilizer now. Oh yeah, they're completely out on all three of them. Yep, yeah, and next one. And next one. Right, okay, so then now we need to do the same with fertilizer. Do you know half of the session's gonna be gone by the time I've actually got these sorted? Right, we need to get that in the So the pipe we need to come round. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit wobbly, but it's cheap. It's, yeah, it's it's not terrible. I have seen a lot worse mods, if I'm honest, that are quite now then we need to get this 
right next to the bit where we can drop this in the silo. These aren't going to be wasted because we've got the Omatana thing, so. Now, have we got any fertiliser in here? That is the question. This is strange, this is. I found this last time. You've got to get in a certain spot to actually read the... We have solid for our oh, two tons. It's not really going to... That's not going to help, really. So... Ah, now that it might not read, might it? This can we force it? Oh no, no we could, but it's not really in the right place. Ah, you can do it properly. Oh, I'm never going to get that, am I? It's, yeah, I'm going to have to like use a smoothing tool to get rid of that. a slow unload but then most augers aren't terribly fast so yeah and also this is not like it was an ultra expensive auger like our massive one I suppose we could have used that but this seems a little bit smaller it is a bit more it's not as wide it really isn't it's a good maybe we ought to have got the seed tender but I just I'd like to try new mods. I truly do. I was absolutely blown away though last session with how well we did. I could not believe we were up to 500 and something thousand, and now we will have over a million tons of silage, and we've got 500 tons now. I am well blown away. That 496 tons, and another just under a million. Yes, a lot of straw, and there's all the grass to lift off here, which we know they just get quite a lot off here. So yeah, we are gonna be doing super duper truly right let's refold that yeah if you're on a budget this this is quite an impressive sort of trailer if I'm honest I would I could live with this on a start from scratch definitely it's it's multi-purpose its speed is obviously a tad slow but then there's I've made do with things like the go whale before now here we have to unfold it again yeah, the go whale was terribly slow, but on some let's plays I've used that quite extensively to rip bales to to go to loose. So mm. that should have gone the other way, really. Mm. Right, we want fertilizer. We don't want a lot, though. About three tons. Mm. Oh wow, it feels quickly. Oh dear, that cost a bit. Yeah, I was blown away as well by the fact that we've got another case harvester. That was super duper. It really was. I'm very impressed with that. Alright, let's get this ready. Let's start on this one. In fact, if we yeah, now we know that this is fillable if we get this at the right angle. Let's try and angle this correctly. And then unfold. Yeah, I was I do love that tractor. It is very nice. Did is very proud. This is going to be a bit... Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a very small... Yeah, I do apologise, it's not quite right. It's close, but... Right. That could be me. I'm, I'm not going to blame the mod when it's... Let's see if we can do it a bit better. See if we can get the nozzles a little closer to where they should be. No, it's not. Oh, no, that was way out. Well, I don't know, actually, thinking about it. I do remember one mod, sorry going for, for going silent, but yeah I remember one mod that really was ever so funny about the angle that you had it, it, it was one of those mods that you, 
It was an FS-19 that I did, and then I, yeah, I don't think I ever used it again, because it was shocking, it really was now then. Can we sort of sneak in between? Because that's going to be difficult for us to get to that last one. Because it's got to be this way on. So can we sort of just... No, we're going to bang into it a bit. It's, okay, no, we're not. That shocked me as much as it did you. actually managed to bang things. Yeah, that is that is a little tad sensitive if I'm honest. actually passed over it at least two or three times with two, both nozzles and that's definitely not far off okay yeah well it's not far off but yeah now to be honest I think what we ought to do is have the the front box the joskid with fertilizer in I do think that is the way we should do this so, with that in mind, let's go grab that on the front of this, which is in here somewhere. And I've got to pull out the fertilizer spreader as well. And the weight. Yeah, I knew this was going to. Yeah, I did. It's not the end of the world. Let's grab that. We'll stick the rest. Oh, Rast the rest of the fertilizer in that, and if it's not enough, yeah, because it's it does run out of fertilizer quickly, so ah, it's got lime in it, so we'll stick that in the this time. We'll try to get it to pop properly and not throw it all over the place. I can't believe that. Right, let's see then. Can we now that's the point? We didn't get the message to this side if we're underneath it and say start filling, surely it should do. Snip it. Okay, let's go in this one then. Ah. Okay, it's completely missing, but hey ho. Well, it's brand new. What can you expect? It's not going to be perfect, is it? No. Let's fold that and let's put the cover back on. Job well done. Slightly out, but yeah, what? It's brand new. It was only released the other day. I think it was yesterday or the day before. So it is very, very new. It is impressive. In it, right? Actually, that is. Oh no. Do you know something? No. We have faffed around enough with it. It's good. But I don't want to waste anybody's more time. Let's drop this off now. We want to drop the little tiny thing next to the bakery and we'll leave this for another day. And I might off camera do a little bit of. I might empty off camera, that is true. Yeah, right, smashing. So we've got that grass to get. Let's just set this. What I'm going to do though is I am first of all going to make sure that they all are definitely, definitely on wheat. Yeah, I do not want any grass strips anymore. No, once is enough. So it is very worrying when Precision Farming says that it is on grass on one of them. Ooh, no, that's not quite right. Right. That's one more time, cycle through. That's one, that's two. That's three. Right, okay. That's this. That's one. That's two. And that's definitely three. So we're definitely on all three. Definitely without a shadow of a doubt. Now then, that's the point. Do we have to switch these all on manually for a worker to actually work? I can't remember what I did last time. It's still saying not available for grass. Why on earth are you skittering all over the place like that? Ooh. You are a big 
tractor. You are in the large tractor category. You should really be able to manage this. Okay, you don't switch it on, do you? Right, we're going to pull forward and we're going to check all three of those little tiny blobs. And none of them say grass. It says wheat. It says crops out wheat. That says grass. Why? You that's bizarre. We can see, completely see. Right, okay, let's isolate that one. No, wrong one. Grab the other tractor, because this is silly. We all could see that when I was looking at this, no wonder you know. I did think that I had actually done that correctly the first time, and and I, I've cycled through all three of those. We actually closed each of those things on those, and it plainly said they were all on wheat. And then we go and check, and it's actually not. It's on grass. That's ridiculous. So let's change it manually. Now, I'm not being silly, but that, to me, definitely seemed the symbol for wheat. Now that's grass. Now that's wheat. Right, okay. Let's just hope that is it, because that's that was bizarre. See if precision farming actually picks that up now. No, it'll be close enough to. Now that's better. It's definitely wheat on loam, right? Smashing. No idea why it did do that because that was definitely the icon for wheat, whereas it was not on wheat. So it is no wonder that little old me, who easily gets confused, was actually confused over that. Really now, so let's go back and want to redo the grass bit here. Now have we done them down? We have. So let's go over that again. Just make sure that is now reading as wheat. It is smashing right. Okay, jobs are good. I can I can live with that now. So then, let's get this Gordon Bennett. You know, I'm easy enough confused without this kind of shenanigans, really. So we want field twenty. No, we haven't actually done this because did we do it manually? I think we did, didn't we? Right. Ah, no. Is this ah? Did this? That is true. How have I? Now it's really a 15 meter, isn't it? Let's just have a quick look in the cedar section because technically we're going to lose a little tiny bit per one. It's a bit going to be a bit of overlap. So if it says 5.2, that would be 50. We'll call it 15 meters, and we'll see if we get away with that. So that is what we're going to go with, right? So 15 meters. Ah, in fact, actually, course play may actually help us itself on this, thinking about it. Yes, let's have a look. 5.3, so we're going to knock it down to 5.2, if it's reading as 5.3, and actually, we're going to just knock it straight to 15, I think. I think we'll just do that, and we will be very generous and say we've lost 6.6 .6 of a metre. Rather than do three tools, it still would work though if we did that. But I suppose we should have tried that really first. But you know, yeah, I'd sooner be a little bit generous and have a bit of an overlap. So 15 meters, one tool, and three headlands. I think start on the headland, do smooth, and generate. That looks good to me. And save that field to 20. 
save course, activate 15 meters. Right, excellent. Let's get rid of the start stop and we'll start at first and go. Let's watch it for a minute. Let's get rid of all. Just want to have a quick look to make sure there might be some little gaps. And there's our grass going, going, gone. Sorry, grass. I'm sorry to see you go in a way, but in another way, I'm really not sorry to see you go. Brilliant. There we go. That is a lovely job. Right, now we are going to go into a time lapse. And we're going to grab the grass off this field. Yes, definitely. So I am going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and girls on the other side.
this is my generic goodbye for yeah for those sessions where I haven't done a goodbye because it's a tail end of a session where I t intended on joining them together so yeah and I don't like not saying goodbye so this is my generic goodbye yeah I am gonna say thank you very much for watching and I hope you're gonna continue with me on whatever journey whatever let's play that you are watching and I'm gonna say goodbye for now